Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and today we're going to be taking a look at Ken Griffey Jr. and his swing mechanics. I get questions all the time about reviewing Ken Griffey Jr.'s swing and what he does well, what he can improve upon, and so I thought that I would just kind of dissect his swing and, and talk to you about some of the major points that I see within this video, okay? So the very first thing is Ken Griffey Jr., he does a lot really, really well. You know, if you were to look up in the dictionary a perfect baseball swing, it would be a picture of Ken Griffey Jr. right next to that, that description because he does a lot really, really well uh, as far as mechanics are concerned. And he also has a great hitting mental approach. So if you combine great mechanics with a great approach, then great things are going to happen for you. And that's why he's been able to play at such a high level for so long and truly be one of the greatest hitters in the game of baseball, in baseball's history. Um, you know, so bottom line, he does a lot of things very, very well. And I just want to dissect a few things that stood out to me in this video. So if I go back to his stance, okay, this is his stance. This is his starting point. The whole lesson in stances, guys, you can see he's a little bit taller, standing a little more straight up and upright. Um, and then you watch guys uh, like Albert Pujols, who are kind of more crouched over a wider stance. Their knees are bent more. And obviously, Albert Pujols is a great hitter, and Ken Griffey Jr. is a great hitter. So the whole lesson with stances is it doesn't matter how you start as long as you're comfortable. The stance is a starting position, okay? If there was one way to stand, a proper way to stand that was going to deliver the maximum results, then everyone would stand the exact same way. But they don't. You see a million and a half different stances out there, even at the big league level. So... Just remember that the stance is a starting point, and as long as your stance doesn't cause any mechanical uh, issues, then I have no problem with the way you stand. Just get comfortable. The other important thing is, although stance may not matter, you know, if you watch, you know, you can take 10 different big leaguers, they're going to have 10 different stances, but when they get to the point of contact, their mechanics, they're all going to look the exact same. So that's the bottom line. It doesn't matter how you start, it's how you look at the point of contact and the positioning that you're able to get your body into. So with that being said, um, let's take a look at when he picks up his front foot. Now that's kind of the extent of his load is right here when he picks up his front foot. That's all he does. That's his weight shift back right there. That's I mean that's pretty much it. His, his front foot's coming up a little bit and obviously if, you, if you're just standing up right now and you pick up your front foot, obviously all the weight's going to go to your back side because you picked up that front foot, right? It, it absolutely has to. It's physics. So he picks up that foot. That's pretty much the extent of his load and now let's watch him stride towards the pitcher. I love his stride motion. So as you can see, he's gliding towards the pitcher and that's that's his stride. You know, he kind of sinks down into a really athletic position. Um, and something that I want you to pay attention to if I if I keep playing this clip here is pay attention to his stride and how he glides forward. He makes a positive move towards the pitcher but his head stays very, very still. Watch this. He's going to make an aggressive move towards the pitcher, but his head's going to stay pretty still. Then he sinks down into an athletic position right there, and boom, he is ready to go. Okay? So number one, the biggest takeaway from this video is, uh, or one of the big takeaways from this video is you have to have a positive weight shift towards the pitcher while simultaneously you, you got to have a still a quiet head so you can see the ball so you can recognize different pitches and pick up spin. Um, he glides forward. He doesn't necessarily push really hard off of his back foot. He just kind of glides forward. Um, and check out his front foot, okay? This is kind of a common misconception that, that a lot of coaches teach, and they tell all their players that they have to land with that front foot, they have to land on their toe, and they have to have their front foot closed. Now, his front foot, he is landing somewhat on his toe, kind of like on the ball of his foot, but his front foot is definitely not closed. It's actually open at probably a 45 degree angle, and you'll notice that that really allows him to uh, kind of, you know, have have great torque with his hips. That kind of initiates his his uh, rotational movement. So I've actually noticed I've taken swings both ways where I'll land with my front foot closed, and then I'll land with it open at about a 45 degree angle, and I notice significant improvements in my bat speed when I land like he does with it slightly open. So that's something you might want to try. 
Uh, I know a lot of coaches out there tell every, everybody, you know, you have to land with your front foot closed. It's simply not true. Watch one of the greatest players of all time, and he lands with that front foot slightly open, okay? Um, the next thing that I want to point out is his hands. So if we go back here, um, his hands are going to, when he strides forward towards the pitcher, his hands are going to walk away from his body. He does a great job of this. So um, here, you, you pay attention to it in a second. So he's going to, that's his starting position as he strides towards the pitcher. Watch how his hands walk away from his body. Boom. And then he gets into that solid position right there when his front foot lands. Look at his his front, his lead arm. It's almost barred out. It's almost straight. Now, obviously, you literally cannot, you know, make it 100% straight in your swing unless, I guess, your hands were, were down by your, your back knee there. Um, but this, this is like a rubber band effect. When you allow that front arm to lengthen back and you allow your hands to walk away from your body, it's truly like a rubber band effect or like you're shooting a bow and arrow. Um, you have to, in order to shoot a bow and arrow, you have to pull the, the, you know, draw the bow back and then you have to, you know, let it go. Same thing with, with shooting a rubber band or same thing when you're, when you're punching. Uh, if you, if you're boxing and you're going to punch somebody, you don't just go from, you know, a stationary position and then all of a sudden push your hand forward into their face. You actually go back and kind of load up just like this. You kind of load up and then you go forward okay so you know just you know hitting is kind of a kind of a, a game of opposites you know you have to the load and the stride it's as simple as you know loading bringing some some weight back and whatever goes back must come back forward to where it started okay so you load you go back a little bit you stride forward towards the pitcher and it's the exact same thing with this okay in order to generate ridiculous bat speed um, you have to have this front arm lengthened and you have to have the rubber band or the bow and arrow effect and he does a great job with that so biggest thing that I always try to tell myself to get into this position is just allow your hands to walk away from your body so uh, now let's let's look a little bit further down his body let's look at his knees his particularly his back knee and his arms and I want you to watch how they simultaneously work together as he begins rotating here they work together at the exact same time boom that's a beautiful position. You want to have your, your back elbow and your back knee turn at the exact same rate. Okay, that's, you know, you see all major league players do this. Watch this again. They're simultaneously now, boom, turning at the same rate. Another thing you might notice with his legs is how stiff his front leg is uh, when he strides and he initiates that swing when his front heel drops. Man, he gets into a great position. You hear all the time, hit against a firm front side. And look at, boom, right there. Look at that firm front side. His front leg is absolutely straight. His back knee is kind of pinching forward towards that front leg. And, you know, he, he's still got a tall back side. His hands at contact, it's a little tough to see right now from, from this angle. Um, but his hands are palm up, palm down at the point of contact. His eyes are on the ball. He's watching the baseball. He's staying behind the ball. Um, and overall, a great, great swing. So there's a lot of things that you can pick up from just watching guys like Ken Griffey Jr. Um, something else, he gets great extension. But, you know, extension doesn't necessarily come from trying to, you know, physically push your hands or anything like that. It comes from all of this. All the stuff that happens before contact gets him into a good position and he's not trying at this point he's not trying to push his hands forward or anything like that it just comes naturally and that's how he gets into that great power v position with tremendous uh, extension so um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video bottom line uh, you know if you're looking to um, really take your hitting to the next level and you're you're wondering about you know is this is this thing that I'm doing in my swing is this feeling that I have or you know I'm doing this with my with my knees or my hands is this what I should be doing well what I always love to do is have somebody film me and then I compare it to a slow motion big league player because that's truly how you learn you compare yourself to to the greats out there so hopefully this video is helpful 
Um, if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more baseball videos, hitting videos in particular, then what I want you to do is I want you to hit the subscribe button on the video right now, okay? So hit that subscribe button. That'll automatically notify you whenever we release new baseball videos. Um, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. We're coming out with new baseball videos every single week. So hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.